Hey everyone, it's Heidi and welcome to today's episode of Baby Name Sunday. So for today's list, we are doing a part two names list of last week's video. So down in the description box below, you guys can go check it out. But last week I did a vintage boys name list that was inspired by your guys' family tree. It was so amazing. And so today I am doing the girls list and I am just even more excited. There's about 85 names to share with you. So before I get into them, make sure you guys are subscribed make sure you guys hit the bell notification as well so you guys don't miss any of my uploads and also go over to Instagram go check me out it's at baby name Sunday I'll have it linked down in the description so without further talking let's jump into this vintage girls name list inspired by you guys all right so just like last time up in the top corner right underneath the name I will also mention where it kind of peaked in the past and where the name is now on the charts which is so interesting I will also have who it was submitted by just to show you guys some appreciation and it came from your guys's family tree so it means so much to me and it's very special to you so first name on this amazing list i have for you guys is the name iva spelled i-v-a i wanted something short sweet and simple to start off and this one's a feminine variation of ivan meaning god is gracious next on the list is the name flory spelled f-l-o-r-r-i-e super cute and this one's a diminutive of both flory Florence and Flora, meaning blooming flower. Then I have the name Honora, spelled H-O-N-O-R-A, and this one's Latin originated, meaning woman of honor. Now for something with a little French inspiration, I have the name Nanette. So N-A-N-E-T-T-E. -E. Now Nanette is actually a French diminutive of the name Anne, meaning grace. So this is a wonderful virtue name that's more subtle. Then I have the name Mariska, spelled M-A-R-I-S-K-A. I love saying this name, Mariska. It's actually a Hungarian diminutive of Maria, meaning drop of the sea, beloved, or bitter. Another vintage option here is the name Wiley, spelled W-I-L-E-Y. Now this one I've actually seen peaking a little bit more here and there recently and it's actually an English, Scottish, and German originated name meaning resolute protection. Next is the name Effie spelled E-F-F-I-E. I actually went to school with a girl named Effie. She was Greek and it is a Greek originated name meaning pleasant speech. Then to switch it up I have a name combo here next. So this is the name Lula Leona spelled L-U-L-A and then Leona L-E-O-N-A. Lula Leona like how sweet is that? So Lula is a Spanish diminutive, meaning renowned warrior, very powerful. And Leona is actually a Latin originated name, meaning lioness. Next one here I have for you guys is the name Odaris spelled O-D-A-R-I-S. Now this one was extremely hard to find any information on. We were hunting, 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 but it definitely has African roots, most likely Kenyan, and it means great, a warrior, and a hero. Moving on to a vintage bird name that definitely is on the rise currently right now, and that's the name Birdie, spelled B-I-R-D-I-E. Obviously it means bird. I just find that's just so happy, so cheerful, so fun. Then I have the name Rilla, spelled R-I-L-L-A. This is probably one of my favorites. It's a little bit more edgier in sound and it's German originated, meaning small brook. Another one I have here for you guys is the name Selenia, spelled C-E-L-E-N-I-A, Selenia. It sounds beyond celestial. Like I feel like it's about moon and the stars. Like that's the meaning. And it makes sense because it's both Latin and Greek originated, meaning heaven or the moon. Selenia. An A name on the list I have here is the name Adela, spelled A-D-E-L-L-A. -L -L -A. This is a great option or alternative to Adele, Adela, with that Ella ending, and it's German originated, meaning noble or nobility. Another name combo here, I have the name Margareta Rose. Margareta, M-A-R-G-A-R-E-T-T-A, -T -T -A, and then Rose, R-O-S-E, Margareta Rose. Like, so beautiful. I love how long Margareta is and I feel like it's such a more modern sounding Margaret which would be great for an honorary name. Margareta is actually Greek originated meaning pearl and then rose is obviously a floral name meaning rose. So it almost means together pearl of the rose which is very elegant and kind of beautiful sounding, very feminine. Then next one here is the name Petrolina spelled P-E-T-R-O-L-I-N-E. Petrolina, maybe nicknamed Petra and this one's actually a Brazil place name which 
I just totally found this out when I was digging up information on it and it means beautiful rocks. So a really great nature name, but very girly in sound. Another A name for you guys is the name Amalia. Spelled A-M-A-L-I-A, -A -A, Amalia. So it's German originated, meaning work. Next is the name Elsie, spelled E-L-S-I-E. -E. Now this one, you guys can see, it was sent in by numerous people, like numerous people. And it was so popular bumping back in the late 1800s and this one's actually Scottish rooted meaning pledge to God. I have a peppy name here next. It's the name Lottie spelled L-O-T-T-I-E. This one's an English diminutive of the name Charlotte meaning free man. Then we have the name Evia spelled E-V-I-A. Evia. How Thinking sweet and gorgeous is the short name. I love it, Evia. It's Hebrew originated, meaning life. Then I have the name Adelia or Adelia, spelled A-D-E with an accent or no accent, L-I-A. And this one's a German originated name, also meaning noble and nobility. Now for a Z name on the list, I have the name Zella, spelled Z-E-L-L-A. This one's an African Bobangi or Bobangi. I believe it's Bobangi. I am so sorry if that's incorrect meaning lacking nothing or one who knows the way. All right, so to switch it up a bit, floral name here next is the name Poppy, spelled P-O-P-P-Y. Now this is both a floral name symbolizing peace, but it's also a musical word name, meaning catchy and tuneful music. Oh, and the next one here is so familiar right now. It's definitely a little bit on the rise, which I am just loving. It's the name Luella. So two different girls actually sent in this name with different spellings, so there's L-O-U-E-L-L-A, -L -L or L-U-E-L-L-A. -L -L -A. Both of them, whichever or, they both mean the same thing. And it's a combo of Louise and Ella, meaning renowned warrior girl. If you have an Alexander or an Alexandra in the family that you do want to honor, or maybe you just love the name but want something a little bit more different, I have the name Alexandrina, spelled A-L-E-X-A-N-D-R-I-N-A. Alexandrina. If you need five syllables, like this is a great, longer, and elegant sounding name. So it's Greek originated, meaning defending man or defending woman. Next is the name Love, spelled L-O-V-E. Obviously, this is an English word name, meaning to be loved. I honestly love this as a first name, and I've been really loving it as a middle name as well. Then I have the name Winnie, spelled W-I-N-N-I-E. Guys, haven't you seen so many of these names coming about? Like total vintage comebacks. I am loving this list. So Winnie is actually an English diminutive of Winifred, meaning holy peacemaking, amazing, and gentle friend. Another T-T-I-E ending name, this one's the name Dottie, spelled D-O-T-T-I-E. I love it again. It's an English diminutive of the name Dorothy, meaning gift of God. Now for another E name on the list, I have the name Eliza, spelled E-L-I-Z-A, -E Eliza. Super pretty. It's a diminutive of Elizabeth, meaning pledge to God. Honestly, this was one of my favorite names on the list. It's the name Delcy, spelled D-E-L-S-I-E. Delcy, like how gorgeous, oh, I love it. It's an English variant of the Latin dulci, meaning sweet, so very sweet for a sweet little girl. This next one here has such a stunning meaning. So it's the name Elnora, spelled E-L-N-O-R-A, and this is a mix of L, which is French originated, meaning she, and Nora, which is an Irish and Greek originated name, meaning light. So together, it means her light. I have a name combo here next. It's the name Josa Lee, spelled J-O-S-I-A, and then L-E-E. -E. So Josa could be pronounced a couple different ways. She actually goes by Josie, so it could be Josia or Josiah, because it is a diminutive of Josiah and Josa is Hebrew originated meaning God's support and heals and Lee means meadow. Guys, next one here is the name Bunny. So B-U-N-N-Y. And I mean, I'm telling you, if you think 2021 is gonna be bold and brave and creative names, guys, the past is full of them. Go check them out. So bunny is obviously an animal name, obviously, but bunnies symbolize good luck and radiate positivity. I have the name Solana, spelled S-O-L-A-N-A, 
so beautiful. This one's Spanish originated, meaning sunrise. Then for another name combo here is the name Zoe, Z-O-E, and Arabella. Spelled A-R-A-B-E-L-L-A. -L -L -A. Both names are Greek and Latin originated, and together it means life yielding to prayer. Another Greek option here, and I really hope that I'm pronouncing this one right, it's the name Eulalia, spelled E-U-L-A-L-I-A. -L -L -A. I really hope that I'm pronouncing that right. Eulalia, I believe it is, and it means sweetly speaking. So many name combos here. I feel like this one could be a first and a middle, obviously, or it could be a double barrel name. It just sounds so good. So it's the name Luddy Jean, spelled L-U-D-Y and then Jean, J-E-A-N. So Luddy is an English originated name meaning peoples or it's a German originated name meaning famous warrior. You have the two meanings and then Jean is both English and Scottish originated meaning God is gracious. So we had love on the list and now for another virtue option here, I have the name Bliss. So B-L-I-S-S. -S. This is by far one of my favorite virtue names. I feel like, especially for a middle name, it flows so nicely and the meaning is intense happiness. So such a cheerful and positive name for a little girl. I have the name Mina, spelled M-Y-N-A, more shorter and sweet. This one's Latin originated, meaning of the mind and intellect. Next two names here on the list are name combos. So I have the name Dixie May, spelled D-I-X-I-E, and then May, M-A-E. So Dixie is Latin from French originated, meaning I have spoken or 10th. And then May means bitter or pearl. Another combo here is the name Lana Emelyn, spelled L-A-N-A, -A, and then Emelyn, E-M-M-A-L-Y-N. So it was her grandma's name, so stylish. It's an English diminutive of Alana, meaning rock or beautiful. And then Emelyn is actually a French form of Amelia, which is German originated, meaning work. All right, so for this next one, in my previous video, I actually mentioned to you guys that Z names in the past for either boys or for girls is extremely rare. And this one was popular in the late 1800s. So it's the name Zula, so Z-U-L-A. So it's derived from the name of the powerful South African warrior people so beyond powerful and it means brilliant and ahead. Then onto a fun one here, I have the name Pebble, spelled P-E-B-B-L-E. -E. So Pebble is an English word name, obviously meaning stone or rock. I can totally see this as this sweet, cutesy little girl. Pebble, even nicknamed Pebbles go with an S on the end, I think it's adorable. Then I have a place name here next, it's the name India, spelled I-N-D-I-A. Now India is definitely a rare place name option and it means from the river Indus. This is another fun one. It's the name Happy, spelled H-A-P-P-Y. Now, I believe what she was saying, I believe it's her mother or her grandmother's name, and apparently she was just so beyond happy when she was little, so she was named Happy, like, I love this, like go for it, I love it. So obviously it's a word name meaning Mary. Next is the name Elke, spelled E-L-K-E, Elke. I actually asked her for the pronunciation for this one because I wasn't too, too sure and I wanted to get it right. And it's a Dutch, German, and Frisian name meaning noble. Then switching it up, but not really because we're back over to this fun name again. It's the name Beausoleil. Spelled B E A U S O L E I L. Yes, Beau Soleil. Like, I love this. I love it so much. It's French originated, meaning beautiful sun. Next is the name Milada, spelled M I L A D A. So, this one's a Czech originated name, meaning my love, sweet meaning. Then we have the name Ohara, spelled O H A R A. Now, the O actually has an apostrophe in her name, but you can totally do it with or without. And it's actually a Japanese rooted nature name, meaning small field. Moving on to my next name on the list is the name. Zora, spelled Z-O-R-A. Now this one's a Serbo-Croatian name, meaning Dawn. Switching things up a bit, another name combo here next is the name Jetty June, spelled J-E-T-T-I-E, -E, and then June, J-U-N-E. So Jetty is an English-originated name, meaning Jet, and then June is obviously a month name, but it also has associations to the Greek goddess Juno. Another vintage option here is the name Tersa, spelled T-E-R-S-A, Tersa. 
Tersa. So this was a great, great aunt's name of her family and it's English originated meaning to harvest. I have the name Iliette, spelled I-L-L-I-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, very similar to Elliot, Iliette, a little bit more feminine in sound. And this one's actually American originated, meaning the Lord is my God. For my next name here, I actually popped in Davian's grandma's name on his mom's side. I thought this was just like, wow. When I heard it, I was like, wait, what's your name? So her name is Cinderella, spelled C-I-N-D-E-R-E. E L L A. And the name Cinderella is actually a French originated name meaning little ash girl. I mean, of course that's what the meaning is. <laughs> it makes sense for the movie now. Next one here is a word name. It's the name Jewel, spelled J E W E L. And this one means precious stone. Then we have the name Vela, spelled V E L A. And this one's actually a Sanskrit originated name meaning shore or coast. So definitely a beachy girl's name, Vela. This next one here more so sounds like a surname as a first name for girls. Back in the day, it's the name Rosendale. So R-O-S-I-N-D-A-L-E, Rosendale. So this one's an old, old Anglo-Saxon name meaning Rose Valley. Then we have Davian's other grandma's name on the dad's side and this is the name Olga. So O-L-G-A, Olga. And this one's Russian originated meaning holy. Then onto one of my family tree names. This is over on my mom's side. It was actually her great grandma's name. So they are French Canadian, so they pronounce it as Lea, spelled L E A, and it's English originated, meaning meadow or wary. Next is the name Chicky, spelled C H I C K I E. Yes, Chicky. So this one's Spanish originated, meaning little one. Then for a name combo here, I have the name Fanny Opal, spelled F A N N I E, and then Opal, O P A L. Fanny Opal. Fanny is actually a diminutive of France meaning free man and opal is obviously a gemstone name and this particular gemstone symbolizes fidelity and assurance. A rare name option here is the name Amethysia, spelled A-M-E-T-H-Y-S-I-A, Amethysia. So this one's derived from the purple gemstone amethyst, which symbolizes protection and purification. Then we have the name Berea, spelled B-E-R-E-A. So this one's actually a place name in the Bible. It's actually the name of a church, I believe it was, and she was actually specifically named after it. Another L ending name here is the name Lionel, spelled L-E. A N E L L E. Now, Lionel is actually a combo name meaning she lion. Then we have the gorgeous name Isidra, spelled I S I D R A, Isidra. So, this one's a Spanish and old Greek originated name meaning gift of Isis. And Isis is actually referring to the Egyptian goddess of multiple things moon, sky, magic, and motherhood. I have the name Layla, spelled L-E-I-L-A. It's an Arabic originated name meaning night. Then we have the name LG, spelled E-L-G-I-E. LG, -E. super cool. It's derived from the Gaelic name meaning high-minded, smart, or Little Ireland. All right, so we're kind of getting down to the end here. I have about 17 more names here, so I'll get through them. I have the name Iren, spelled I-R-E, the E has an accent, N, Iren, or you can pronounce it as Iren, and this one's a Hungarian from Greek originated name, meaning peace. Another name combo here is the name Minty Ann, spelled M-I-N-T-Y, and then Ann, A-N-N, Minty Ann. So Minty is actually a Greek diminutive, meaning defender and Anne is actually an English from Hebrew name meaning grace so together it literally means defending grace I have the name Ora, spelled so O-R-A. This one's short, sweet, and simple, three letters. It's Latin originated, meaning prayer. Then for another kind of mashup word combo here next, it's the name Free Love, spelled so F-R-E-E-L-O-V-E. -E -E. And her middle name, I believe it was Free Love French. Like that was her full name. Like how cool is that? So Free Love is obviously a word name meaning free of love. Then for another Z name here, I have the name Zita, spelled so Z-I-T. A. And this one's Italian, Persian, and Greek originated, meaning little girl or seeker. Another combo here next, but this one's a combo of color names. So I have the name Blanche Hazel. 
spelled B-L-A-N-C-H-E, and then Hazel, H-A-Z-E-L. Blanche is a French originated name meaning white, and then Hazel is kind of like an earthy tone, kind of browny green color, and Hazel could also have reference to the tree name, the hazelnut tree. Rare Z name on the list here, it's the name Zoda, so Z-O-D-A. This one also is one of my favorites. I feel like it just sounds too cool. It's very rare, extremely hard to find any information on. I mean extremely. But it possibly or perhaps could be an Italian dialect word name meaning girl. Name combo here next is the name Vida Mahilia, spelled V-I-D-A and then Mahilia, M-E-H-I-L-I-A. Vida is a Spanish originated name meaning life and then Mahilia is actually an Italian originated name meaning the light. So put together, it means a light of your life. Floral name here next is the name Orchid, so O-R-C-H-I-D, and orchids actually symbolize innocence and purity. Another vintage E name on the list I have for you guys is the name Evelina, spelled E-V-E-L-Y-N-A. So Evelina is an English from French and German originated name, meaning desired, water, or island. I have the name Ilka, spelled I-L-K-A. It's actually her sweet grandma's name. Her grandma actually just turned, I'm pretty sure just turned 97 years old. It's a Hungarian originated name, meaning bright shining one. Next one here is a total Southern charm girl's name. So it's the name Tilly, spelled T-I-L-L-I. It also could be spelled with a Y, and it's German originated, meaning battle mighty. I have the name Lina, spelled L-I-N-A. It's her beautiful grandmother's name and Lena's Arabic originated meaning tender. Another Italian name here on the list is the name Mia Costa. Spelled M-I-A-C-O-A-S-T-A. It's Italian originated meaning my coast. So very beachy for a little girl. Then I am putting my mom's name on the list here. So her name is Isabel, which is a kind of a family tradition name on her side, but on her actual birth certificate, it's actually Elizabeth. Spelled E. E-L-I-Z-A-B-E-L-L-E. -E -L -L -E. Her dad actually misspelled her name completely and butchered it and put that on the birth certificate. And she's been knocking herself ever since, but now she's kind of slowly starting to love it. It's actually a mashup name of Eliza and Ella and put together, it means beautiful one that is pledged to God. I have the name Joaquina, spelled J-O-A-Q-U-I-N-A, -A, Joaquina. So this one's actually the Spanish feminine variation of Joaquin meaning God will judge. And then that brings me to my very final name on the list and that's the name Kazmira. So K-A-Z-M-I-E-R-A. -E so Kazmira is actually a gorgeous Polish name and the direct meaning means great destroyer or great destroyer of peace, which is like so random of a meaning, but the sound of the name is beautiful. And then the male variation of Kazmira is Kazmir, which is just oh, so handsome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys absolutely enjoyed today's list. I hope you guys enjoyed this really fun and special two-part series of your guys' family tree name. I think it was just so special and I loved creating it. So definitely lots more to come in the future. But if I didn't mention your name or you have some that obviously didn't make it onto the video, please leave them in the comments below. Oh my goodness, everybody will be so excited and so thrilled to read them. So let's flood the comments again. Thank you again so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you guys next Sunday with another Baby Names List. Bye.